Today we're going to look at using the pocket knife as a self-defense tool. By far the best option for an everyday carry pocket knife for self-defense is one that has a wave feature on the back of it. The wave is this hook on the back of the blade that's designed to catch on the pocket as you draw it to automatically deploy the blade. Most wave knives will come with a hook installed on this side. It's designed to be drawn into a hammer grip in this manner. I dislike this for two reasons. The first is my preferred grip is a point down grip. The point down grip lends itself to attacking the eyes, throat, and chest. The other reason I dislike having the clip on this side is when I draw, I'm pulling my knife away from the fight before I put it into the fight. I'm drawing back and then I have to move forward. If I reverse the clip, as I've done here, this allows me to draw into a point down grip, but it also lets me draw moving forward so I can put the knife into the fight immediately. I can draw and attack all in one motion. For the draw, three fingers along the clip, thumb is on the inside. I'm twisting the knife away from myself slightly and drawing the blade forward so it lands in my palm. What I don't want to do is draw it where it's dangling from my fingertips because if my hand gets hit in this moment, I'm going to lose the weapon. So as I draw, I'm pushing it forward so it lands in my palm here. So the first option we're going to look at is drawing and shooting straight in here with a reinforced stab in this manner to create distance. So as I do this, I'm drawing, chambering here in front of my sternum, and then pushing straight forward to move the opponent away from me. Straight here. The next option is coming up and attacking the eye directly. So in this instance, I'm drawing and shooting directly into the eye. If I'm close to the opponent, the best option is going to be going directly into the body here. So in this instance, I'm drawing, then going with the lung puncture, turning the blade horizontal, running it parallel to the ground so it goes between the ribs and into the lung. Concept that stems from the Japanese art of sword drawing, Aido, is being able to attack in different directions. So if the opponent is to my left here, I can move and attack here. So engaging the opponent on my left, I'm bracing here to make sure he can't overwhelm me, drawing and shooting the blade under my arm and into his lung. This is safe because my body is between the opponent and my blade, so my blade's not going to be trapped. If the opponent was on my right, on the other hand, going into the body here could be risky because even if I stab him, if he collides with me, my blade is going to be trapped between my body and I'm not going to have my weapon free. So when engaging the opponent to my right, I'm going to want to give a little bit of ground and shoot the blade up high here. Shooting the blade up high means if he moves into me, I can bring my blade up and still keep the knife in play. So here, I'm shooting in this way. One thing you have to be aware of when using the wave feature is if you get a failed deployment. If you practice regularly and use a knife that has a good big wave on it, it's going to minimize the risk of this happening, but it's still a possibility. So if you draw and don't get a deployment, in this case, you would use the pocket knife as a palm stick, striking any bony area, going into the orbital bone around the eye, the crown of the head, the temple, nose, collarbone, looking for an opening. When I strike here and I create an opening, I'm going to grab the bottom of my shirt, use the wave, and draw the blade up here. So I would strike, boom, grab my shirt, pop it up, and continue my attack with the blade out. So I'm pulling the shirt tight, 
bringing it up here and striking striking boom boom finding my opening then pressing the attack from there <laughs> 